Welcome to part two for Hunter the Reckoning's walkthrough for Death Row. We'll pick it up right where we left off after the carpenter fight and carry it through the uh, big boss fight at the end of the level. Should be intense. All right, we're gonna enter a corridor that's a lot like the first one. You have to kill a certain amount of monsters before a zombie will spawn with a key. Get the key and that allows you to move to the next point. Right now it's just all out buck kicking. All right, I'm about to die here, so we need to get some health. We're gonna take them out. Now there's gonna be two doors. We're gonna go to uh, the one on the left here and uh, save some innocents, get some weapons, and uh, proceed on. It's kind of like stockpiling for the big battle. Um, we have a, another one of these rooms, and then we're gonna go in and fight the next boss, who's uh, extremely difficult to beat. Hopefully, we'll be able to get through it. Take a look at the cinema. Look how well done it looks. Um, up, we're really proud of it. I'm not going to talk all the way through it, so enjoy it, and especially pay note to the last line. I just think it came out great. You shouldn't be here. I've already killed too many people. I think you should get out of that chair. Then we'll go someplace less possessed and talk about this. It's too late. You should have left when you had the chance. Now things are going to become very messy. I hate messy. This was a huge twist in the story. To this point, you didn't even know werewolves were in this area. Now you find out a werewolf is what caused a lot of the problems you're, you're dealing with. Um, you want to use a similar fighting style here. Throughout the whole game, you really, when you're fighting bosses, you want to try to move in circular motions. When you get to this guy, he has a defense for it, shooting those ghosts out, which, which would tear you up. But still, it's, it's one of the easier ways to fight him. Right now, you see uh, Deuce using the rocket launcher. Uh, this is a really good weapon to use throughout the game. But one thing you need to keep in mind is you need to keep your distance. And if you are playing multiplayer 2, 3, or 4, um, you want to make sure your players are out of the area because it does have a high radius of damage and it will uh, blow up your friend and it will blow you up. Another thing is too, the uh, werewolf has three different edges that he throws out at you. You're seeing the ghost right now. Uh, once he gets down to a certain level in his health, he'll start shooting out these skulls that will really mess you up. And then he has a defensive attack where he crouches down and spreads out these waves of uh, glowing light. Again, notice how we're trying to use special weapons and edges on it. Flamethrowers, chainsaws, and any of your edges, especially cleave with your special move, works great. Problem with that is you got to get up close, and when you're up close, he hits you, and he hits you for a lot of damage. The best advice I can give you for this boss fight, um, single player, um, use your special weapons and your edges, and if you are multiplayer, keep your distance and uh, fire, fire from with your ranged weapons. And then when you can, get up close and uh, use your uh, special uh, moves. And uh, we just killed him, and now we're going to jump into the cinema. As you can see right there, too, uh, we both gained a new edge. And I don't know if we point, uh, point on this earlier, but every time you kill uh, a boss, you gain a new edge. Now, you get a total of three edges, so you will level up once you obtain an edge. So and there's three levels to each edge. Thank you all for watching the video. Hope everyone enjoyed it and it helped. And if you don't have Hunter the Reckoning, go snag one. And look forward to upcoming news on Hunter the Reckoning.